Speaking of voting rights legislation, if this isn't passed, do you still believe the upcoming election will be fairly conducted and its results will be legitimate? You say we're not going to go back to closing schools. You said that just moments ago, uh, yet they're closing in some areas. What do you say to those teachers and principals and parents about school closings? And what can your administration do to help make up for learning loss for students? So at the top of the broadcast, you heard News Nation's Allison Harris at the President's News Conference today. There it was again, and Allison joins us now live. She's made it out of the White House. Allison, you ask a question to get a reaction or a response, and you got both, especially with that second question. It seemed like one he wanted to take on. Uh, definitely. I'm, we're going to play that in just a moment, but this is something that really hit home. I knew it would because the president had just reiterated what he has been saying. He doesn't want schools to close. He said that there would not be a school closing. So I wanted to ask about that because even though, as he points out, you'll hear from him in a moment, that a majority of schools across this country are not closed right now, I have a local news background. I came from covering local news. I have sat through hours of school board meetings. And there are many school districts across this country where the school boards and school administrators are grappling with this decision, with these problems of Omicron spreading, of staffing shortages, of not being able to find substitutes, of having clean spaces, of getting the funding they need to keep schools open. This is top of mind for parents all across this country, as well as students and teachers. So I wanted to ask the president what his message is to educators across the country and families across the country who are, you know, maybe their schools aren't closed right now, but they're wondering, are we going to go, have to go back to remote learning at some point? Listen to what the president said. First of all, I put in perspective the question you asked. Very few schools are closing. Over 95% are still open. So you all phrase the questions when people, I don't think it's deliberate on your part, but you phrase the question when anybody watches this on television. My God, there must be all those schools must be closing. What are we going to do? 95% are still open. So a majority of schools are still open, but we're still talking about school closures. And I think that this really hits home for the president because he has said over and over again, there won't be more lockdowns, there won't be more restrictions. And yet here we are, January 2022. He's, uh, you know, today releasing more masks for people and 95s out of the strategic stockpile. Uh, people can go online to order tests. So we're back to very much where we were earlier in the pandemic of needing more access to testing, of needing better masks and talking about school closures. That's still a reality in this country, even if it's not the reality for the majority of the country. And it's an issue that's important. You know, Joe, I also talked to him. You know, you heard that first question about voting rights legislation. Uh, there was a question before I had asked my question, you know, about that legislation that seems hopelessly stalled in the Senate and in Congress, probably not going to get passed. And I asked him kind of the bottom line question, I think, which is, will this upcoming election, will the midterms be fairly conducted and will they be legitimate if this legislation doesn't pass? And he at first said in response to my question, it depends. One of my colleagues later followed up and he said, well, the odds of it being more legitimate increase if this voting rights legislation passes. He also responded to another question uh, saying that he could take executive action, possibly have some executive orders on voting rights, uh, but he wouldn't detail any plan for that. So that's pretty interesting. Also talked about in terms of school boards, just going back to that, he did say he would go back and maybe reconsider how he allocated funding through some of those COVID uh, packages at the beginning of last year to schools and two states to keep schools open. He said he gave too much power to the states and they haven't really tapped into those resources. Billions of those dollars have not yet been used. Allison, two of the many big issues discussed today. I know it's been a busy day for you. Appreciate you carving out some time for us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.